ty hroby, které my jsme odkryli, ty tři, byly z první poloviny 18. století. Ta pitva byla výjimečná v tom, že se vlastně dělala za přítomnosti excelentních lékařů tehdy. Portrét, obrazy mají vyřizané část obličové partie a jsou nahrazeny oficiálními obličeji. When the word vampire is spoken, the Count Dracula is the first to remember. This story was created by Bram Stoker in his novel. He used the historical figure of Velaki and Prince Dracula from the 14th century. But the real story of the vampire nobleman was played in southern Bohemia at the beginning of the 18th century. It was this story that inspired Bram Stoker to write Dracula. It's a bold claim, but I can prove it. The novel Dracula was in fact called Eleonora Amalia of Schwarzenberg, a princess from Český Krumlov. It was docela zvláštní, že ona žila několik desítek, ne, několik desítek, hodně let žila v odloučenosti od svého manžela, žila na hluboké a na různých jiných prostě venkovských sídlech Schwarzenbergské šlechty. Let's briefly recall the story. Princess Eleonora ruled the Dominion at the beginning of the 18th century. Bohemia is hit by a huge wave of fear of the undead that time. The Vampire Cemetery was found also in Český Krumlov. Ty hroby, které my jsme odkryli, ty tři, byly z první poloviny 18. století, to znamená, trefili se do doby, kdy tady žádný hřbitov oficiálně používán nebyl. Takže ty kostry se tady vlastně v té době neměly vůbec odstnout. A e, také se podařilo zjistit, že zhruba e, v rozpětí let někdy 1740-1750 došlo v Krumlově ke třem sebevraždám a není vyloučeno, že ti pohřbení tady byly vlastně ti krumlovští sebevrazy. Self-murders were suspected of being a vampire. Eleonora practiced an alternative medicine. She drank a wolf's milk to overcome a mysterious illness she suffered. To the horror of her surroundings, the symptoms of her illness matched the vampire disease. The howling of the captured wolves has frightened the region. When she died in 1741, a strange autopsy took place. Ta pitva byla výjimečná v tom, že se vlastně dělala za přítomnosti excelentních lékařů tehdy, bylo jich několik a ten pite, ta pitevní zpráva je neobyčejně rozsáhla a takzvaně běžně se to nedělalo ani u mužských potomků jakéhokoliv významného aristokratického rodu. Ne, že by pitva byla výjimečná jako taková, ale v takovémto rozsahu byla skutečně výjimečná a poukazuje nebo směřuje nás to k něčemu, o čem nebo nad čím by mohly být jakési otazníky. Rainer Keppel, a professor at the University of Vienna, is convinced that the Dracula novel is based on the story of Eleonora Schwarzenberg. I contacted him to ask for help in finding more evidences about that. An autopsy, that's what I say in the movie, that's what I write in the book. An autopsy is a very good opportunity to drive a stake through somebody's heart. Because that's what you do. If the doctor wants to find out why you, what the reason for your death is and why you had to die, they can't open your body and they can't open your heart. Because they want to know if it has to do with the heart. And this was very rare. And that's exactly what you do with vampires. You drive a stake through the heart of the vampire. And then, of course, the heart of, as, as you know, the heart of uh, Ilanor Schwarzenberg was separated from the body. The heart and the body are in two different places. That's very good, because if you separate the, the heart of a vampire from the body, uh, they, the vampire cannot, uh, there's no resurrection. It can, they cannot become undead. So that's a safety measure. And I thought this is very interesting. 
To find more evidences that Dracula was actually from Bohemia is quite complicated. Eleonora's traces were carefully removed. Portrét, obrazy mají vyřízené část obličejové partie a jsou nahrazeny oficiálními obličeji. Kompozice obrazu je změněna, ano. Přestavěno apartma, zřejmě hned poté propuštěny, propuštěno služebnictvo nebo 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 osobnosti dvora, které tehdy, které tehdy doprovázely její život, ano, a tak podobně. The fear of the undead spread from the Czech lands to Germany and as Professor Keppel confirms, not only to Germany. In the mind of the, in the, mind of, the, of, of, uh, of the British, of, the, of, of an English author, or in this case of an Irish author, everything that was more or less in Austria was vampire country. One of the most famous poems of German literature is Lenore by Gottfried August Birger. The dead man takes his bride to the cemetery, transforms himself into a skeleton and murders his mercy. Lenore and Eleonore are actually identical names. Bram Stoker wanted to have his count being an Austrian, not a Transylvanian, not a Romanian. There is also other evidence, not just the coincidence of names. In one of the verses, the undead claims why trade ich her from Böhmen? I come from Bohemia. Interestingly, this information did not penetrate the English translation. In one of the other verses, Birger writes, dead travel fast, but the only one dead who traveled quickly was Eleonora. She was quickly transported from Vienna to Krumlov after an autopsy. Birger almost certainly knew the story of Eleonora, and Bram Stoker knew the story as well. He indicated that in the novel several times. As, as, as you might remember when uh, Harker takes uh, uh, the coach to Dracula's castle, then uh, Stoker writes about uh, Lenore, which is a very similar name. And it contains the line, the, dre the dead travel fast. When Jonathan Harker moves to the buggy to take him to the Dracula's castle, the terrified passenger tells the verse from Lenore and the Dracula's servant smiles. But there's even more. Stoker's novel has an unused chapter. The chapter was supposed to be the beginning of the novel. Where, where does it take place? It starts in Munich, Germany. And then Harker takes a coach and goes, we don't really know, it goes somewhere east. And that's where he finds the grave of the vampire princess. And the vampire princess has an Austrian name, Gräfin Dudingen zu Graz. So I thought, well, you know, this is, he could have found the grave of Eleonore von Schwarzenberg. On the tomb of the vampire nobleman, there's the inscription, this time in Russian. Again, the dead travel fast. Jonathan Harker is attacked by the vampire, but he's rescued by Dracula, who still needs him alive. There is another interesting thing in the unused chapter. It's the inscription on the tomb, which refers to another countess from Graz. The first famous, really, really famous uh, vampire story, which is called Carmilla by Sheridan Befanu. And the setting of that story is in Graz, which is uh, a city in Syria. Stoker builds on another famous vampire novel, Austria-Hungarian Empire. The country of fear of vampires was indeed a Habsburg empire, and it inspired writers. We can only guess why Bram Stoker changed the scene of Dracula to Transylvania. But the real story that inspired him to write the famous novel comes from Chesky Krumlov in southern Bohemia.